Nestled on the banks of the Hudson River, Mikey Stadium. It will play host to some of the nation's finest today and another thrilling edition of Army football. What we have in store today, a clash between a pair of AAC squads. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the East Carolina Pirates. Taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Army Black Knights. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. will get us started with the opening kickoff. On the run from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Pirates offense will get the first swing of the game. And here comes this quarterback. This entire offense is built around him. He is the engine of the entire team. I mean, he's the leader. He's the alpha. Everybody looks towards him. He's been doing it all year long. Everybody believes in this young man. Big afterburners coming. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Apparently, line number one on the game plan, attack now immediately and this quarterback he smelt it he knew he had an opportunity this is a guy who loves taking shots any chance he has you saw it on that first play of the game picked up two yards on that last one they need eight on second down they go right back to him stop just inside the 25 will mark it at the 24 pickup of 10 and a first down Use the play fake. Now to throw. He'll take a shot. He was open. He had it. And he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Tackle is made right at the 20-yard line after a pickup of four. They've got it in field goal range, but they'll try to convert this third and long from the 20. Coming after it. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to it. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You got an opportunity on third down, and you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack, and now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. And they're going to head out the lineup for a field goal. This try will come from the left hash, and he'll try to curl it in from 38. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. How great is it to know that if you can get the ball down somewhere close to the 40-yard line on your opponent's side of the field, you're walking away with at least three points because this dude is automatic. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The cadets offense has the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. The Black Knights will punt this one away. 
Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Looking for a block. It's right. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. They'll leave it with him. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll put the tight end in motion. Garcia to pass. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Pirates are in the red zone. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Out of the gun, the inside give. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Wants to throw on third down. Pocket starts to collapse. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football. You hit him, you try to rake it out. Great job by the defense. Get the sack, get the fumble. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. The option look. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Here's a snap, ready to cut one loose. Keeps looking downfield. Open space at the 25. Man, that's so frustrating. It happens so fast. He just pulls it down. It looks like pass. He pulls it down, and he's gone. Just like that, chewing up yards. So much speed, so hard to stop. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Let's see what they've got on second down. On the option. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. A third and long coming up here. Dropping back, it's Bolden. Setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. And the Black Knights will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's right. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. This time, they need to take care of the ball and maybe extend this lead, David. And I think you got to look at the positive reason. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drive. They come to the line, hoping to get some of that yardage back from the 17. Off the play fake. Throws to the tight end. Got his man downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Pirates moving quickly to the line. The give to the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Holds and fires complete to the right. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. And the Pirates are marching down the field. Caught in the backfield, it's Patterson. 
And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Delay of the game. Offense. Offense. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Garcia wants to throw. Finds his tight end. They make the stop, and that'll bring the first quarter to a close. Guys, East Carolina carries the lead into the quarter break. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They've swapped into the field, and we'll get it going in the second. The marker rests at the 39, and that's what they need here on third down. They go to the draw. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. He wants to throw. Got his man on the right. At the 20, he's got space. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. He caught it. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. Boy, if that first down play was any indication, they might walk this thing in on second and goal. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. All they need is one yard, and they got nothing on the last play. Here's third down. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, ECU! Touchdown. You know, this guy's had a big role Number in this offense 47. this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Oklahoma has just had no answer to the ferocious tail kicking they're taking today. And if you think that coach is fired up on the sidelines right now, wait till the post game. They're trailing by 14 to South Carolina. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense declines and stands on the result of the play. Fast motion from the offense. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. offense. The quarterback's mistake pushes the ball back in the shadow of his own goal post. Hand off to the fullback. And a decent gain there before the defense makes a stop. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long back up inside their 20. Feeling some heat. Had to throw it before he wanted. He'll just throw it away, and it'll be fourth down. The Black Knights decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. On the move, it's right. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. First down for this offense. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the grab. It's Bond. Oh, look out. There he goes. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, East Carolina. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. 
Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. On the move from inside is five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dan. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. To the air. It's Bolden. Dances away. Trying to escape and get it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the Black Knights come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll ride his man on the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on second down. Brings up second down. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Scrambling away. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. on the option and a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two tried to pound it on first down now back to the line they'll run the option he'll keep it himself and he keeps it himself a good decision there and it gives this offense a first down this drive has been exclusively on the ground could they be setting up a shot play He's got his man. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. The Black Knights have it in scoring position on first and goal. Now on the option. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Couldn't get any closer on first down. Now second and goal from the nine. On the option. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Dropping back, it's Bolden. Quarterback now breaking the field. They stop him short as he was trying to scramble and find his way to the goal line. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. From the right hash, and this distance makes that angle not quite so severe. It's good! After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. 
out of the shoot. Quick toss to the right. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. He's looking for an open man on second down. Pulls it in. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's looking to throw it. Get it out on the screen. Still on his feet at the 45. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. They want to just keep throwing it. It's complete to the right. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. First down here for the offense. Garcia to pass. Just a little off. Incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on He's looking to throw. They'll run the screen. Puts him in the spin cycle. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. He'll throw on third down. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job with ball security there, and that led to the fumble. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. The back goes in motion. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. And the Black Knights will line it up on first and ten. He's going to pass. Going to try to pop one on the screen. He makes a stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manager. The offense will quickly use a timeout. Back to pass. It's Bolden. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. They're bringing heat. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. The Black Knights will punt it away on fourth down. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. It'll go out of bounds, and we'll see where they mark it. It's going to be right around the 35. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Quickly out to the tight end. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. Still running at the 40. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime gets it out fast and he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play and here on second down they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break that is no good missed the field goal missed the chance to make it a three possession game it's still a 14 point lead guys
So the offense doesn't want to take a chance here. They'll just come out and take a knee and wrap up the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in West Point for an entertaining first half than you? And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Blake Field inside Mikey Stadium. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. If they're going to get on top in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get the running game going in the second half. I agree. So it can create some more balance, some more unpredictability. I feel like this defense has got a good beat on what they're doing, especially if they don't mix it up a little bit. So I do look for a little second half running the football palmer out of this group. And I think the thing, Dave, is they just got to be more physical. I don't think this is a scheme question about trying different run plays. I think it's up to the big fellas up front. They've just got to make the decision that they're going to be tougher here in the second half so that they can win this game. Moving away from pressure. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. And the Black Knights will call on their punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. And the return man couldn't get to it to make the catch, and the ball will bounce out of bounds. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive started. Got a man. It's Bond. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Open. Open. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. It'll be a draw. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. And now on second down for this offense. They try to pop a run on the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They come to the line facing third and long from the 25. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Getting some heat. And the quarterback is knocked down back in the 13. And that's the thing about this defense. Yeah, they may be losing the game right now, but they've got difference makers on that side of the football. they got guys that can step up like that, create havoc, get a sack, create negative plays. They're going to need more of that here in the second half if they're going to win this game. The Pirates will send Number out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. So first play of the drive coming here from their own 49. They'll run the option. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Line getting set on second down. Here comes the option. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. Going to try to get it himself. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Black Knights line up to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And it'll be downed right there. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one, and David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Oh, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. 
Delay of game. 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 Offense. Offense. So now things a bit harder after that delay of game penalty, and now you got to worry about getting it out of the shadow of your own goalpost. The give to the running back from the shotgun. At the 15, he's loose. And he's running in the open. The 40. He's at the 30. Inside the 10. And you race it to the house. Touchdown, Pirates. What an unbelievable play on offense. And I think the thought process was, hey, we're on our own two-yard line. Let's just run the ball and give ourselves some space, give ourselves some better field position. But the ball carrier says, uh-uh, no way. I'm making people miss. I'm taking this thing to the crib. And he showed you his speed. Wow, what a game-changing type play. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Navy is on top, but it's not like Roger Staubach is playing quarterback today, which is why they can't pull away. They're up by a field goal over Charlotte. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Goes to the option. And he'll be run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Not a very productive play there. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Give to the running back. Fighting to get it out of the end zone, and I don't think he made it. He did not. It's a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field. They got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. They'll boot it away from their own 20 after taking the safety. Just needs a crack to get a return. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. They had this thing in a hammer lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Palmer. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. Looking for his man. Complete downfield. Touchdown, Purple Pirates. And the route is on. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense. Dude, if I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Looking for a man. It's Bolden. Shoots it to the left. It's caught downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Quarterback on the keeper. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting to move, it's first and ten.
still on his feet. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. And the Black Knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Running back goes in motion. The option look. So after the first down run, here's second down. On the option. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. The Black Knights have taken it inside the 20. He'll ride his man on the option. Fights his way for a couple, but stops short of the marker. It's fourth and one. Guys, East Carolina carries the lead into the quarter break. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. On the option. He is stopped short, and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They go to the ground. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Got three on first down at second and seven. Keep it on the ground. On the move at the 30. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Here comes the offense on second down. Second down. Grabbed behind the line. It's Patterson. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. Powers through the defender. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And you just won't see a more effective punt than that out of bounds inside the five-yard line. Leaves it with the running back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll run the option. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. To the air, it's Bolden. He makes the connection. Finds a crease at the 20. He's off to the races. And he's brought down after a huge completion. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. That last play is the kind of thing the offense can really build some momentum on, and now they've got it first and 10 outside the 40. He wants to throw. They've got the screen set up. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. Second down. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Starting to feel a little pressure. He was able to squirt free and pick up a few and avoid a negative play there. They're facing a third down. Looking to throw for it. They're setting up the screen. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. And the Black Knights have their offense in high gear. And a good solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. Good spot after that seven yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. 
They'll power it inside with the fullback. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. Now on the option. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. On the option. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third and goal from way back there. To the air. It's Bolden. He's moving out of the pocket. He was thinking touchdown on the scramble, but they're able to stop him short of the end zone. A fourth quarter field goal down by this much. That's a lot like putting a lips. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Army! Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You're powered in for the touchdown. And show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. Now the two-point conversion attempt is coming. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Trying to get to him. The pressure gets to him. Quarterback is sacked, and the two-point attempt is denied, and the lead stays right where it is. East Carolina, 33, on nine. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. Nice move to keep moving. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Deep shot for the end zone. And give him another six. Grabs it for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Arkansas is currently a big right now. So much so, feels like we can hear Pig Suey inside our studio. They're up by 28 over LSU. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. It. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Got his man to the left. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes a connection. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. From the red zone, looking for a space. And the pass is incomplete, but the flag flies, and there was a lot of early That's contact the there. Defense. Defense. 
and the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. Dropping back, it's Bolden. Quarterback on the move, still looking. And he'll take it in for the touchdown. It won't have much impact on the outcome of the game, but it is a fabulous parting game, a consolation prize. The result of this game is going to sting for sure, but you've got to continue to build, you've got to improve, and you can take some positives out of this late hustle and build for next week. There's always positives, and coaches are always looking for those things that we did well. What did we do well so we can do more of it in the future? We're finding some things here late that they did well. And he tacked on the extra point. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. At this point, a comeback would take one of the biggest miracles in the history of the sport, but they'll line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. With this big cushion they're working with, Jesse, they're ready to send these fans toward the exits. And you know the coaching staff has got to be so happy with how this offense has been able to come out here on the road, fight the crowd noise, and execute at such a high level, Dave. Yeah, just dominate the football game. And now, listen, it's mode where I can run the football, run out the clock, watch this game go to zeros and get the deal. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. On first down, here comes this offense. Three consecutive L's, a hat trick of losses, and as a result, you can take their hat out of the ring for most of their goals. Yep, most of their goals are done, and listen, I, I don't know what they do really well. This is bad. Three losses in a row, it's not good. They gotta figure something out, but it's a long season still. There's still a lot of room to find some positives, Jesse. Maybe throughout the way, there's gonna be something that happens that's positive. So you're saying there's a chance. Yes, I like it. Always positive. Glass half full, Dave. But listen, I, I don't think they can fix everything in one game. I think this team needs to go back to the drawing board. They need to focus on one specific area of their football team to try to improve on and get this thing going. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.